No problem, Harish. And this is a fundamental session. Yeah, whoever is the new, no issues you will face. So we are discussing the fundamental of fundamentals of answer writing. Already I have discussed one session of fundamentals of the answer writing where I have discussed different question tags that has to be taken care while writing the answer. Okay. So here I will be uh, doing a little bit more than that. So we will be uh, taking uh, some of the answers as well as uh, discussing some of the fundamentals of the answer writing. See, let me tell you, answer writing is not any kind of rocket science. All of you be very clear with it. Answer writing is not a very difficult thing. We all are graduates. Whoever is preparing for the UPSC, all of you are the graduate students. This session is getting recorded. Huh. Yeah. So we all are graduates. We, we have passed our graduation exams by writing the answers. So answer writing is nothing new to us. And we don't have to do something phenomenal in the answer writing. Only thing is, for us, what is the question that is asked? So, you should be very clear. So, question, read the question properly. The voice clarity is... Is everyone facing the same problem? Is my voice clear? Others? It's clear, sir. Maybe uh, maybe uh, your side, Kiran, uh, the issue might be from your side. Please check your internet connectivity. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so, uh, read the question properly. Then, identify number of parts of the question. Number of parts of the question. Some questions might be having more than one or Two parts. I will show you all these examples. I will show you. Okay. So make sure that you are answering to every part of the question. Now, how do we allot the weightage? How do we allot the weightage for every part? I have already discussed this thing, right? In the session one, I have discussed depending upon the question tag, depending on the question tag. Question tag, you allow the weightage. Then, like, consider yourself as a kind of sales uh, person. Okay. So, you should be able to sell your answer. Whoever is uh, um, whoever is evaluating the answer, he would be generally a senior person. The, they would be a professor. Uh, and they would be evaluating too many answers. So, you should make his job easy. While evaluating, if the examiner likes content, the examiner will be willing to give you the marks. So you should make sure that examiner is standing your side. He should feel, this person has that worth. I should give him the marks. So how do you make that presentation? So as much as, much as uh, simple as possible, you should simplify the presentation. How do you simplify the presentation? Break the question in the parts. Break the Question in parts. As much as possible. Simply you can break the question in the parts. Then whatever the part you are breaking, broken the give that in the proper box. Keep that thing in the proper box. So let's say federalism in India is rhetoric. In India, in India is rhetoric. Means not true. Okay, just uh, that is a kind of uh, a fake kind of thing. Examine. This is the statement. Now, whenever the word examine comes, I told you already, we should be very careful. It, it means you have to give the deeper analysis. And you cannot give the deeper analysis without giving both the sides of the story. Is it true? Is it a situation uh, rhetoric? Or is it there is a complete kind of a situation of the federalism in India? Both are not always right, right? So we have a scenario where there are cases of violation of the federalism or there are the cases of where you have proper federalism is being enforced. So you should make sure that you are writing both the sides. So why it is considered as a rhetoric? So I'll give this heading. 
why it is considered by states as rhetoric i'll give this heading so always the next important point is always pick up the heading from the pick up heading from the question and always write in the point format now while writing the points what should be the length of my points should i write in one line should i write in half line three lines what should be this so it should be self explanatory if it is for the upsc exam it does not matter even if you write some at some places half line or two lines but the line should be self explanatory to me i should be able to understand what you are trying to convey if i don't understand then definitely i am not going to give you points while if you if you are preparing for any state exam state exam generally i don't uh, suggest writing very short lines at least one or two lines proper complete sentences formation is required because usually uh, it depends slightly depends on the uh, which state exam you are uh, writing but usually the most of the in more with more the most of the states exams are not regular especially in the south indian states like karnataka tamil uh, like andhra pradesh uh, whatever uh, these states generally even mp chatisgarh all the scenario is same the exams are not being conducted regularly rarely exams are being conducted and so a set of patterns are not being associated established like upsc we cannot be so sure this is going to fetch us marks but whatever till, till now i have discussed the fundamentals of the answer writing will be valid everywhere and making sure that you are writing the proper complete sentence one or two lines complete sentence so that examiner feel completeness the examiner should be able to understand because they might not be that experienced in evaluating the answers on every year like the upsc does in the upsc there are set of professors who are evaluating so many answers and they know the kind of standards and formats what student is trying to convey so it will be not difficult for the evaluator there to understand your uh, short sentences but in the state exams that will not be true so do not try to make that now when i am talking about the presentation in the presentation not just these kind of headings other things also matter what is the other thing these can this these are the main headings always pick up made heading this is very essential keep it in the box this will increase the visibility okay i will show you wait that is the question okay let me show you now in this question see here what do you understand by the concept of the freedom of speech and expression this is a i'll see first how many parts are there in the question now this is one part because you have to what do you understand they are asking you what do you understand does it cover the hate speech also now this is a second part why do the films in the india stand on a slightly different uh, plane from the other forms of the expression so i will try to write properly all the three parts so i will make sure i will give the proper headings so uh, while writing this first part it's not necessary to give the headings in the introduction write in a proper format so freedom of speech is guaranteed under article fundamental readings and also in the upsc exam it is necessary to import in the underline underline the important points so this will increase the visibility and don't keep on underlining everything then that will kill the purpose very important point which you want examiner to focus okay you you can so this is a right approach freedom of speech guaranteed under article fundamental uh, rights under article 19 they refer to the liberty freedom express whatever the thing that uh, uh, we need and uh, since this is uh, okay i will try to may, uh, write that this is the expression this is a fundamental right that make sure the democracy is ensured i will try to add that one more point because this is a 15 marker in the 15 marker i want to add one more point where this is a major fundamental right where the democracy is ensured enforced right without which democracy cannot be possible if you are not allowed to talk to speak what you want to 
then it's not possible to have the democracy. Right? Only then the democracy is possible. So I will write that paragraph so that uh, so that uh, there would be more content from this. But still, this is the question tag what? So my weightage will not be so much of high, so more for that part. Okay. Uh, but here the question is followed by does it cover the hate speech? So this is the explanation part and why question comes. Whenever there is a why aspect, discuss aspect, so I need more focus on those areas. Now, does it cover the hate speech? If possible, definitely I will try to write does it cover hate speech, a heading like this. This should be clearly mentioned. Sometimes both in the exams, state exams and the UPSC exams, they will be asking you the opinion. What do you think? Do we give the farm loan waivers? Do you think freebies are uh, hurting the Indian economy? Do you think India is on its uh, uh, path of the fiscal consolidation? Do you think GST is making the economy crippled? So like this, they will ask you the opinion. And if you are not giving the opinion, yes, no. And also it's not necessary that always the opinion means yes or no. You can also take partially I agree. Partially it is true. To some extent it is true. But if you are not communicating anything, then you are not going to get the marks. Now if you see here, the, thus this freedom does not cover head speech. Okay, because here it is properly also explained. This freedom, the freedom of speech is not absolute. There are qualified reasonable restrictions. Reasonable restrictions that are mentioned. Like contempt of the court, upholding dignity, not hampering the friendly relations. So it does not cover the freedom of speech, uh, uh, hate speech. I will write certain points about here. Okay. Well, I will write at least some two or three points like this instead of the paragraph format. This is also fine. I will write why it does not cover the hate speech because hate speech is different from the uh, discussion. Hate speech is advocating the violence. Like Supreme Court said, discussion is fine, debating is fine, advocacy is fine. But if one person is trying to incite a hatred or jealousy against another person, it is not going to be covered. So I will try to write those arguments, three points. Instead of writing in this para, this is also fine. But that is one way to write. Okay, probably since the person has already written here, freedom of the speech is not qualified. Okay, this uh, so the person simply has written in the one paragraph. Thus, the freedom does not cover the hate speech. But my approach would be so I will keep this thing in the box and there I will write the analysis. The reason is both of them are fine, but the reason is just I want to increase the visibility so that whenever examiner sees my, look at my answer, I he should not feel that I have left out the second part. Hmm. So this is the next part. Now see the third part. The Indian films stand on slightly different plane from the other forms of the expression. Okay, I will hear also. Okay, you see this person has tried. Okay, same thing. Why Indian films stand on different different plane? Like this, keeping that box, it will increase your visibility. It will make sure that you have written all the parts of the question. Okay, so now see. After writing this thing, here contents, content matters. Audience is targeted because this is what the Supreme Court also said. Like in the movies, three hours. Now let's say I'm showing you animal movie. Your kind of receptivity is different than the 14, 15 year child. Okay, I, so now we should not say, say child, adolescent. Okay, so his receptivity would be different. His or her receptivity would be different. Okay, now, so that's the reason when three hours with the music, in a closed room, when I'm delivering some kind of content, it cannot be absolute. There should be some kind of restrictions that should be there. And here in India, cinema is more than the entertainment. It is deeply connected with the social and cultural living. So people do uh, take what the content the show has been shown in the cinemas. Okay. Because for us, for the India, the cinema is a primary source of entertainment. Entertainment. How many of you can connect to this or not? Do not know. Some years back, a few years back, at least there was no OTT or no those a lot of technology. At the, those days, we used to wait for any good movie to arrive, and uh, that was the only source of entertainment. And uh, most of the times, if you see, uh, especially with the students who are in the school and college, their lifestyle or their kind of mannerism is influenced by the 
hero they like some some people might be imitating shahrukh khan or some people might be imitating pawan kalyan okay or chiranjeevi no, mahesh babu whatever yes kgf yes okay so there is also responsibility that these film stars make the film in a responsible manner and also when the films comes okay where uh, we are talking about something on this more on the religious things and all so they, that has to be uh, that has to be properly provided because in india still literacy is not up to the mark we might be having uh, numerical literacy okay maybe we know what is a b c d 1 2 3 4 but real form of literacy real form of education knowledge rationality still is not there so it cannot be left out to the individual so those points analysis has to be there audience is targeted creativity of an individual and see here i need, i need more points three points i will not be satisfied the points which i have mentioned these are the points now why these points what i have mentioned is important because these are the arguments that generally comes in the newspaper supreme court debates this is what said by the supreme court i am not saying these points i have i have got to know these points because i was reading the newspapers so these are to some extent right now see here what is coming first now if i write those two points in india the awareness is uh, less okay the india india is a region where movies are taken more seri- seriously okay different gra- uh, socio it also influence the uh, movies influence our socio cultural lifestyle adolescent are easily influenced they try to imitate their heroes and also the amount of knowledge rationality is considerably lower because of the uh, still uh, lower levels of the literacy so the emotional maturity is not high if you show some kind of movies it is very highly possible that they get influenced they get swayed away and also india is known for diversity now see 140 crore population and different types of the faith belief religion and once the supreme court said that faith cannot be rational always no faith cannot be rational faith means there is nothing called rationality logic in that but still people like to follow that okay now you can make n number of rational things against the faith it will hurt people feelings you may call i am being rational but you are there should be some kind of limit in india okay that's what those arguments that you have to right this is the reason why okay so again like always i say content is the king content is always the king okay so this is the second point i wa- i wanted to uh, i wanted to explain break the question into the properly headings and write in the properly point formats now third thing you have to maintain is while writing the points please focus very important point that i'm going to explain while writing the points you might be getting so many points with yourself now how do you how do you put those points i'll show you one question okay now see this question discuss the impact of the reservation of seats for women in the local self government on indian politics now there would be some kind of questions please know here there would be some questions where questions are direct questions are direct okay examine local self government examine the features of the local self government or examine the recent uh, bill and uh, its key features impacts of the green revolution the topics which you traditionally conventionally study in the textbooks okay, those kind of questions usually such kind of questions would be 90 percentage in the state exams like whatever your state exam is be it abbsc tspsc kannada tnbsc whatever it is it would be directly being picked up from the questions okay so if you see generally the questions that i frame for the, uh, the state exams that would be different uh, i know most of the coaching institutions are framing very difficult like upsc standard they are just fooling the people because in the state exams uh, usually what happens is large mass of the people will be writing the exam so uh, while in the upsc every year exams are being conducted and upsc has been exhausted of the questions that they want to ask so they want to make the same question tricky but upsc according to upsc the type of the competition at least 2000 to 3 5000 people they are already very strong with these kind of static conventional questions that are being asked in the state exams so upsc will be asking you questions that are not directly present in your textbooks or not directly easily uh, it can be comprehended 
but not in the case of the state exam. For the state exam, the first thing that you have to do is you should be in a position to write those questions which are directly being asked. 90% of the question will be same format. What is the proof? Just go and check back all the state PSC exams, PYQs, not the coaching institutions uh, question papers. Only when they are started to ask repeatedly every year, then only the difficulty level will slightly increase. They, st they try to go in the direction of the UPSC. So you have to see the PYQs to understand what kind of questions they will ask. Okay. So some questions are direct. Here, content is 100% key. 100% content is the key. If you do not have the content, you cannot write anything. There would be some questions. Content can indirectly play the role, but most of the questions are indirect. You have to brainstorm there itself the points. Now see here. The student has been largely successful. Okay. Discuss the impact of the reservation of the seats of the women in the local self-government. So in the introduction, I have to set the context first. Now this question is asking me the impact of the reservation of the seats of the women in the local self-government. First, I have to talk about seats have been reserved for the local self-government for the empowerment of the women. I have to set the base. Okay. So as per the 70, 73rd and 74th constitution amendment, uh, in order to do the political empowerment, constitutionally seats have been reserved for the women. So that would act as a kind of base. Okay. Uh, so th there would be different ways to write the introduction. You may use the current affair. You may use the fact. You may use the figures or whatever. It does not matter. But that has to set the base for me. So whatever the base I have said, I have said like, uh, okay, to make the political empowerment, 73rd and 74th constitution amendment has given the reservation in the local self-government. Then I will talk about the impact of the reservation. Now, this person tried to use the current affair. Recent data by the Ministry of the Panchayatra shows 49% of the seats are held by women in the urban local bodies. To some extent, it is fine, but I'm not completely satisfied. Okay, but because it is more on the local self-government, not just urban uh, things alone. So, that is also the right way to write, using the current affairs. But I'm not totally satisfied. Okay, so that is uh, the point that you need to uh, remember once again. Hmm. Okay. So now see, impact of the reservation, the person has brainstormed the points. Political awareness it will be creating, political empowerment, uh, challenge, okay, cha it challenges the male uh, domination, patriarchy and all. New role models, new leaders will be created. It increases the gender sensitivity, inclusive development. All these things are fine. But my point is, you should be able to generate under the headings. Try generating. Now, I am talking about the impact. If the same points, I will write these things in the, same, in the same way. What is the impact on the social empowerment? Then, I uh, will keep checking at the questions like so that I don't get deviated from the question. Impact of the reservation of the uh, discuss the impact of the reservation of the seats of the women in the local self government on Indian politics. They are talking about the Indian politics. So, uh, impact impact on Indian politics. Now, there is no direct content here. I will be able to generate points based on the content I have. Now, see. Uh, you should not jump directly right away answer. You, you take some time, 30 seconds to one minute. Initially, you take two minutes. Brainstorm what all content you will be able to recollect. Now, because of the pro pro providing the woman reservation, there is also development of the cooperation between the civil societies and the local self-government that is happening. Like you might be heard about Kerala's Kudumbushri model. Kerala's Kudumbushri model. So, because of this thing, more developmental industry developed. Development industries. Okay. So I will give this heading and there I will talk about the growth of the self-help group, growth of the uh, connecting links between this civil society and the local self-government. All these things are coming under the politics because they play a key role in the politics. And then I will talk about how, uh, okay, women got politicized. Politicization of politicization of women. What does it mean? So politicization of the women. Okay. Women becoming aware of their rights. Becoming aware of their rights. New growth of leaders. 
new growth of leaders hmm. then inclusive gender politics inclusive gender politics and successful implementation of successful implementation of gender budgeting see what is gender budgeting means some amount of money i am allotting it for the women okay see, see, see. no no uh, not allotting for the women let's say uh, a particular scheme uh, for the for the agriculture let's say i am pradhan mantri krishi sinchai yojana okay some 100 uh, rupees i have allotted now from this 100 rupees so how much impact that is going to create on the women for suppose i have made some kind of tools with these 100 rupees that are useful for the irrigation purposes. Now, these tools may not be able to utilize by the women. Now, how much amount of money that you are spending to make sure that these kind of impacts that are shown on the women also. Now, this thing can be possible when the woman is able to put her ideas, when the woman participation is there, when the woman is also implementing these things. So, because of this politicization, these kind of gender budgeting or the national level development will be more important. And then you can also say social development, social development and political development. So how growth of the nutrition, growth of nutrition, okay, uh, growth of nutrition, comma, construction of the toilets construction of the toilets because why you have to explain if I simply write growth of nutrition construction of the toilets because these are more women concerns these are women concerns women are sensitive towards this thing this thing the these developments these developments these developments further strengthen the democracy further strengthens democracy so I should be doing two things while writing the points capturing under the main headings. Secondly, I should not simply write the points. I should also say how it is going to happen. If you don't do that thing, you will not get the points. You will not get the marks. Now see, for a few things are self-explanatory. Political awareness. Now I don't have to talk about how the political awareness happens because you are there. Okay. Challenges to power by the power. Yes, woman is considered to be subordinate. Now, so, so many points are the uh, self-explanatory. But some points are not always saying self-explanatory. Okay, there you have to talk about improve the nutrition. Now I'm giving some seeds to the lo uh, local uh, in the local government to the women. Now, if I write simply the improves the nutrition, how this is not self-explanatory. Inclusive development is not self-explanatory. Construction of the toilets and the breast uh, breastfeeding centers. Little more explanation is needed. If you write the same way in the state exams, there are very high chances that you will not get the marks. So be very assured. So sometimes I uh, also answer, uh, listen to the students like, sir, we got good marks in the UPSC, but not in the state exam. Sometimes then what happens is in the UPSC, uh, the evaluator might be able to understand this this way. In the state exam, that may not be happening. Okay, that you have to bring in the answers. So what are the key takeaways here we have mentioned? The key takeaway is capture the heading under the, capture the points under the major heading, social development, political development, politicization of the women, Development of the developmental industries and write the subheadings. This is how you will write the point and also explain how to the extent it is becoming self-explanatory. This is how I will generate the points. Hmm. Then next comes the diagrams. Always people think the diagrams means only this thing. Okay, I get so bored. Sometimes I get so angry also. Entire answer is only this thing. What is this? So drawing India map, is this not a diagram? You are drawing graph, okay, showing the rise and growth or falls. Is this a not a diagram? You are showing uh, pie chart. Is this a not a uh, diagram? You are showing some kind of bar graphs. Is this a not a diagram? You are showing some other diagram where you are showing the heat surplus and a heat deficit. Is this not a diagram? So why why the people are thinking this is the only diagram? So someone said draw the diagrams in the exam, you will get the marks. Okay, I'll go and draw the write the entire paper this thing. Now if the question is asking, examine the impact of the local self-government if some person write like this. Impact. Okay. Impact. This is how people are doing, students are doing impact, nutrition, okay, nutrition, health, empowerment. What is this? Why will I give the marks? So they will say, sir, I have written. 
Okay, so uh, toppers have told me to draw the diagrams. I have drawn the diagrams. I have written all the these many points. I am not giving the marks. So this is what the students do because examine means the analysis. I am asking how this can happen, how the health improvement can happen, how the empowerment can happen. How can this thing be explained in the diagrams? So you always provide the diagram to provide the extra content, not to cut the existing content. To give the additional information, use the diagrams. Okay. So I believe this is the most important session uh, that has to be uh, the be there with the everyone. Okay. There is nothing rock and science. These are the things that are there. Okay. If you do these things repeatedly, if few answers get uh, evaluated, then that's it. Because like I say, this is not always any kind of rocket science. We have already done. Now let me show you. Elaborate the procedure of the removal of the judges in the India. These kind of questions, uh, re recently UPSC has started to ask. Okay, one or two questions every time, every year they are asking. But in the state exams, you will see 90% of the questions more requested. Now see here, here, this is elaborate. You don't have to examine anything, whether this is right, whether that is wrong, any problems, nothing doing. Simply whatever the procedure that is mentioned in the constitution, you simply write that procedure. Removal of the judges. Only remove pro procedure of the removal of the judges is uh, through special majority that has to be passed in the both the houses. First, initially, uh, in one house, uh, they will be acting a kind of committee and uh, procedure will be there. Then it goes to the second thing. Then the president has, has to give the assent. And it is so difficult to process that till now, no judge has been removed. Okay, that's why it is in the news. So writing this uh, constitution part is a good thing. Removal of the judges, in-house procedure where, uh, okay, generally this this will be, uh, for this should have, this has to come. First, this has to come. Okay. Uh, and here also, this is a, uh, this is not a binding procedure. CJ can also form a committee to look into the inquiry. Generally, what have, whatever uh, any complaints come to the judges, uh, it will go to the a kind of uh, jud judiciary uh, a body of uh, judges where they will inquire. Okay. That is a kind of in-house mechanism. And if they find any kind of serious flaws, see really kind of thing, then they will submit report to the parliament. And based on those things, again, the procedure has to follow the same procedure. Okay, CJ will not have any kind of uh, uh, powers to remove the judges. Then it again, it has to go to the uh, same procedure. Okay, that uh, that has to be uh, mentioned clearly. The judges concerned may be advised to resign or seek voluntary retirement or otherwise president or prime minister will be informed of the situation starting the process of the removal of the parliament. That is a good thing. Hmm. Then how this process uh, happened. See here now writing this way, properly underlining this way, it will give me the clarity. Uh, and also try to give the less space. We have to okay. Uh, we have to give uh, cover the entire question. Hmm. So steps involved in the impeachment process of the judges. Judicial Inquiry Act. Very good. Whatever the fact is given, removal of given to the signed. Now see, this is very good way to write. Signed in the by the hundred. Signed by the fifty. Simply using the flowchart properly. Presentation has been improved. Definitely, I'll appreciate this thing. Removal. Now removal. I will be able to focus on this thing. Once see, now I read the half paragraph. For me, I understand this person know the content. So I will be taking the side of the student. In some other forms, parliament may on its own initiate the removal process by doing uh, by adopting the removal process. Okay, after motion is admitted, three member committee will perform investigation. If the committee finds the judge to be guilty, uh, prove uh, okay, well, this has to come first. Only on two grounds, parliament can be uh, 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 remove, uh, impeach the judges. This thing is a misbehavior and the incapacity. Okay, then uh, this has to uh, this process will be followed. Then removal process, special majority of the motion is passed and addresses present as present removal of the judges, quasi judicial process and act as a maybe in the in the finally conclusion you can write here. We can write here. This is so difficult process and um, uh, there are talks that the removal process has to be reformed to make sure um, there uh, there can be proper removal of the judges so that no uh, as currently no judges have been removed okay despite proven corrupt charges and all okay so even this thing is also fine okay so this question this student has addressed the properly demand of the question by giving properly heading see here this is also a kind of diagram giving a kind of in-house procedure this leads to see clearly clearly it has been explained so definitely i will give the good marks five marks i will give it because the question is direct five out of ten now and one more question we'll see. Now see here, I will show you. Okay, this is not, do not think uh, a kind of criticism to one person or uh, do not think, please, this is a learning process. All of you guys are learning. 
feel free learn from the thing okay here no your names are not mentioned in the answers nothing to feel anything bad i'm not trying to uh, uh, pull down anyone this is only learning experience even when i try to write answers for in the first time i also face similar kind of difficulties so just learn okay by doing this exercise you will also learn what is the way to not the right what is the way to write now recently a high court judge violated his, vacated his office to join a political party in the west bengal now this is not setting me the context right you may be able to write from the current affairs recently corruption uh, like uh, charges against the government are increasing okay because of this thing removal of judges is in the news while removal of the judges uh, under the constitution article whatever the, those articles are there can be done under the only through two provisions uh, like uh, misbehavior and incapacity okay that would be my uh, introduction if it is a 10 marker i'll try to shorten it if it is a 15 marker i'll try to little bit elaborate it no procedure of the removal of the judges try not making such a kind of uh, things okay even if, if that happens generally in my answers also it will happen that is fine okay but try to minimize it judges inquiry act of the removal of our explains judges judges can remove by only president so there is a sentence formation mistakes there is no flow in the answer okay president order is after the approval of the parliament so answer is jumping hopping okay from one part to another so it will make my answer a kind of difficult to understand right so this is not the right way to understand the answer okay so i hope you guys have learning okay now one more question discuss the reasons for the rigid caste system in india despite the despite the measures for its dilution okay so here again question direct why there are rigid caste systems despite there are measures for its dilution so you can you can introduce what are those measures have been taken up for its dilution so that will set me the flow right sir you have come to me and say sir uh, let's say assume you are a bureaucrat so you are asking me sir we have taken so many measures but still caste is not going then i will ask you what measures you have taken up okay so that will be introduction sir we have taken up these measures these measures but still that is not going on what are the reasons these are the reasons these are the reasons i have identified so that would set a base always think that way from introduction to the body the answer should flow naturally it should not look both are in different now see if i define the caste system that is also fine but that will not be giving you a proper flow caste system creates various issues like uh, uh thing and all so this can be the introduction rather than the defining this thing so in order to remove this thing various measures have been taken up under the constitution untouchability has been made criminalized or, or uh, uh, like uh, freedom of speech and expression is given to everyone like uh, freedom of movement is given to everyone and uh, civil uh, atrocities uh, prevention all this thing no discrimination can be there all those things whatever the provisions are there that you can be mentioned economic special provisions and all whatever those are there that you can mention however because this is the 200 words question even if it is a 10 marker still you have to write one paragraph on in that direction then you can simply come still it is difficult to eliminate the caste system reason is now keywords every so every topic has its own keywords this is another important thing caste system is endogamous means the marriages are happening in the close community so the same thing endogamy marriages so i want to uh, see that part okay rigidity hierarchical caste system is considered to be a hierarchical this is not going from the social psyche okay this caste is lower this caste is higher so no matter no matter how much you tell you that is settling in the in the minds of the people okay so so that is another problem and uh, value based this has to come later on okay there are loopholes in the la la but there are certain core points that are there despite the presence of the uh, caste systems okay what uh, like uh, the caste systems are closed systems there is no uh, still uh, there is no movement of the people from one uh, caste system to another caste system still people are uh, so connected to the caste system caste systems are also connected to the some religious uh, scriptures and also you talk about those social dimensions then coming to the current dimension currently provision of the reservation based on the caste is also consolidating caste based things now currently caste is more of identity okay you feel more belongingness if you if you if you if you dissolve yourself of all the identities identities if you don't associate yourself with any caste any religion like generally if you see in the muslims okay there would be more kind of brotherhood 
same is true in the even in the every caste okay being associating yourself with a religion or caste you have that sense of identity association if anything happens your group of community will come and help you if you are being behaving like ram gopal verma who is not associating with any caste religion no now you will not have that kind of social safety social insurance social support that identity that point i have to see again identity politics played by the political parties religious propaganda so all these points i have to come later on these things so these are there but there is no social change so i have to see those things i think the person has written measures taken to eliminate the caste system okay these are the measures taken to eliminate the caste system okay whatever the point i have mentioned i think the person has written here the person has written the reasons for the rigid caste system in india see here properly written in the box so that is what i want i am looking for properly written in the box measures taken to eliminate the caste system okay so far inter caste marriages uh, value based education so all these things legislative matters so this is the good way now because this is the 200 words so writing some uh, half paragraph should be fine okay but for me it would be fine if justice is done for this point i should feel all that complete thing okay identity the first point rather than seeing caste as a social hierarchy people nowadays seeing as identity very good point marriage as people are willing see now this is a self explanatory rather than seeing caste as a social hierarchy people are nowadays seeing it as identity it's clear if i simply write identity caste is identity now what now this is self explanatory two lines simple marriage alliances people are using caste so the same thing has to be written word with endogamous marriages education tendency of desanskritization is increasing due to the reservation system this point is not clear sanskritization means you are trying to imitate other the other religion that is happening that is still is, it is happening okay despite uh, growth uh, or uh, thing that is happening and there is no social mobility between the different castes still caste based occupations are prevalent in the country like the temple priest very good point okay this is the point where you comes from the society then definitely i'll give the marks some caste festivals are still prevalent political caste based identity vote banks politics or the things and whatever the point that probably is a student want to say reservation now let's say you say caste based associations caste based uh, or community based economic measures these are further entrenching the caste politicization of the caste is happening so that is the reason still it is not going the social mindset is not changing okay that has to change let's say several great person becomes role model for certain gas they tend to maintain their identity chatrapati shivaji very good point okay so what has to be done has to definitely come here so now what needs to be done okay so that that uh, that suggestions is always required that caste and religion are totalistic in indian culture they cannot be separated from the people it is our responsibility to include all cultures with self of the tolerance to promotion positive conclusion good conclusion so good this is in the right direction see here here example is written as a bsp party but it will become very uh, uh, wrong thing okay so uh, you uh, yeah. a, a political party taking care of one group of community is not a bad thing making that a kind of political agenda or not allowing the caste kind of things to go away the identity politics or populist politics are different you are taking care of one community is not always bad thing so you should you should make it clear, clear okay or else there can be a miscommunication so this is what that you have to write in the uh, answers okay okay let me stop the recording and uh, because it's been already you know, and i will take up one more answer